Warning, warning, warning. Warning. Prolonged listening to this show has been known to cause side effects such as excessive winning, making money, getting jacked, and love and life. Tune in at your own risk. And now, without further ado, welcome to The Spencer Clay Show. All right, what's going on, guys? Spencer Clay is here back with another episode of the podcast. So today's topics, I have some good stuff lined out, but basically, you know, just more of fucking getting after it. Like right now it is fall. It is currently raining outside. And like to me, I just hear money. I hear money coming down because that means the leaves are coming down. It's raining. Gutters are getting clogged. So we're going to go out and make a lot of money. And recently, like we've just had so much shit going on that I haven't had time to sit down and answer some of these questions, but I get some good questions. So if you have anything answer it below, or I mean, put the comment down below this video, or, you know, you can email me or DM me, but I got a really good question the other day from Orhan. He is a film producer. And so recently, apparently up in Canada, there's a thing called like telefilm and it's, they, they give you money or something. It's like a, a grant or a, like something like that. And so he got turned down in 2023. And so now he has to wait until 2025. And one of the things that he really said that stuck out to me was like, my producer says this is the safe route, but I just hate leaving my future in the hands of strangers. So basically he's ha- he's like, what what would you do? And this was a good question because a lot of the times I don't get the best of questions in my DMs. People are just asking dumb things that they could have either just Googled or just looked up any of my videos. Like, why would, <laughs> so anyways, he, he asked me like, you know, what, what would I do? And, and he said something that stuck out, you know, when he said that leaving his future in the hands of strangers. So basically, should he wait for two more years and just until he can apply again to get the get the film grant? I was like, no, I would, I would never, I fucking hate putting my future in the hands of strangers. In fact, anyone on earth, like I hate having anyone being able to tell me what to do, which is why I haven't had a job in over four years because you don't need one. Like every, all that shit is made up. Everything is fake. Like I'm not like a conspiracy guy, but like, if you think about it, everything that we do, like why really think about why do you do what you do? Like, why did you go to college? Why do you have a job where you make $10 an hour? Like, why do you live where you live? And if you really just sit and think, like maybe when you're driving, instead of turning on music or listening to some podcast, like really think about why you do what you do. And there's just like this unseen like script, as MJ DeMarco would say, this script that we all just kind of follow that is just kind of pushes us into doing things. And I know I didn't really answer the question yet, but I'm getting to that. You know, my, my mind works all over the place. So just bear with me. But basically... I mean, we're told that we need to ask permission. We need to, we, we learn all this stuff in school, right? We learn that we need to get permission to go to the bathroom to take a fucking shit. We need to get permission to take the day off, to get absent from school. We need permission to do all these things when all that stuff is completely made up. You go to any country that's not like, that's not America or like a Western country like Canada or something. You go to any country, they just, they chill. They, they make their money and they go home. Life is not all about work. And that's something that I really, for me, I love to work, which is, so it's kind of a complex thing. I I feel like you need to find something that you like to do, but not necessarily call it work. Cause even right now, technically I'm working, I'm making, you know, podcast stuff. I'm working on videos. I got calls later today from my group, but I don't really see it as work. And that's another thing that really grinds my gears when people say like, oh, I just want to retire at 30. I don't want to work anymore. It's like, what the fuck are you here for then? What else are we here if you're not here to work? make the world a better place. So many people are focused on just getting by, scraping by. They never take a look and see like, okay, how can I make the world a better place? Like that's why I make so much content and stuff. I'm trying to like help people think better, think about like why do they do what they do and how they can break free. Cause I haven't had a freaking alarm clock in four years. I mean, obviously we will go certain places where you need to wake up at a certain time or whatever. But like, as far as like having to take the day off, like I, I can't even imagine having to do that. Like I remember, back in the day when I was in the military and stuff or working at any bullshit job. Like I've had a lot of jobs. Maybe we'll do a podcast about that someday about different types of jobs. But the point is having to like listen to somebody that their only qualifications that they're there longer than you. Like the military is really bad about this. Like you'll, you'll be in there and like my chief was just like, it was just not a good relationship. Cause like this guy's only been there for, he's been there for 20 years. I'd only been there for six. And so of course, like he can tell me what to do and it was just, it was just dumb. It's not a cool relationship. Like they're like, even with, with my guys and stuff, I don't, 
I'm not better than them. I'm not telling them what to do. I'm like, hey, like, if you want to do this, do this. Like, this is in your best interest. Like, if you want to make money, go make money. And I feel like most people don't really have that. Like, so back to the question, I kind of went off on a little ramble, but don't put your eggs in someone else's basket. Don't let someone else control your basket. So if you want to make movies, if you want to make films, start making films. Like, you don't need money to do that. Like, I, you just pick up a pick up a camera, start filming. Like, you could su- submit maybe a five, 10 minute little short clip, put it on YouTube. Like, I've seen some awesome stuff on YouTube. You look at YouTube, there's some freaking cinematic quality stuff on there. I remember watching some, like, fan-made, like, Star Wars clip with, like, with, with Darth Maul. It's, it's freaking awesome. And, like, it's, like, 10 minutes long. I don't know how much money that costs to make, but, I mean, I know I make videos all the time now. And you can make money from your videos if you do it in the right way. If you have something where you're actually helping people, you have something you can sell them later. You know, like I have a bunch of books, courses, and like all that sort of stuff where people want to join my inner circle. I have a private program where I help you grow your home service business. Like there are ways to make money. So don't ever let anyone tell you what to do. And don't listen, and especially too, if someone ever says like, oh, this is the safe route, automatically it's probably wrong. Like anytime the majority of some of people are doing something it's probably wrong. I don't remember who said it, but yeah, it's something along that lines of like, if the majority does it, probably don't. So next topic on the list, I kind of just like script, like, you know, 10 different little reels, like little spiffs, like things that I'll just talk about or think about when I'm on like, yeah, some sort of drive or something. I'm just thinking like, oh, what's going on here? But so the next thing I have is the city sucks, go outside. So yeah, this kind of ties into like everything else. Like you think about how the world works and how everything works. We have this like crazy concept just because we have phones now that this is like how the world is when really the, the, the world only follows the laws of the universe. Humans are no exception. You step outside, you go outside into the forest, into the woods, into nature. You see like nature is a brutal place. Like you are eat or be eaten out there. And like we're driving through the city and you know, we see homeless people, junkies standing out on the side of the, on the sidewalk and, you know, my fiance, she's like, oh, it's so sad. I'm like, I mean, it is sad, but like, also like, that's, that's just, that's just how the life works. That's how the universe works in the, in nature, the Buffalo pack is running around and the wolves, they chase and they kill and eat the sick and the old. It naturally keeps the herd healthy. We humans don't have anything now where we keep, where we call the herd, where we keep it healthy. Now we just are allowed to just like, we have so much around. We can go to the supermarket. We don't have to survive anymore. So we've become very dull and very freaking lazy and blunted. Like the world is a fucking brutal place. So if you don't wake up and realize like, hey, I got to make my own money. I got to get after it. I don't have time to sit around and wait or have my boss pay me twice a month and accept to scrape by. So that's something that like just really like you cannot like you need to take control of your life. You need to realize that the universe is a brutal place. It doesn't care about you at all. In fact, and that, but that's a good thing too. Like it doesn't care about you for the good or it doesn't care about you for bad. It's neutral. And obviously, you know, whether you believe in God or not, I do. I believe that, you know, there's obviously a higher power. If you've looked, into, looked around at all, you realize that we are something special. We all have something inside us, like the light. And you see people going towards the light. And so I'm not going to get into that too much. But basically, stop living in the city to go outside, man. Like stepping outside into nature, it like, it automatically just like resets you and calms you down. And so, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Next, um, we can talk a little bit about Christmas lights and some of that stuff. So recently right now, so if you're watching this right now, it is September. We are going into the fall season. Christmas lights are right around the corner. So these are going to be big money, guys. Like even just by myself with a rinky dink operation, still make five grand a week with Christmas lights. But now I have, excuse me, the professional setup. Just did an awesome video with Adam Chapman. So if you guys watch his content, we have a dope video coming out about how to do Christmas lights, how to make over a thousand bucks a day. It's going to be awesome. We have a 30 days or 30 K and 30 days challenge that will be kind of running you through. So stay tuned for that. But if you're not, if you're currently in home service right now, or you're just looking to make some extra money in November, you want to be able to buy your girlfriend a Dyson Air app for Christmas. You know, it's like 600 bucks. This is how you do it. You'll make some more money. More money is going to fix all your problems. I know I kind of like went on tangent earlier this about how like none of this stuff matters, but it does matter. Make like, cause you could either take the whole, like, oh, like nothing matters. Like be the hippie or like, I also think like, oh, nothing matters. So I'm going to fucking win. You know, I'm still going to win because it doesn't really matter, but I want to play the game to the best of my ability. I don't want to waste my potential. Like it, it just, 
breaks my heart when I see people like some of my good friends and family and stuff, they're just living their life. They're getting drunk every single weekend, doing whatever, wasting their life. And it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll drink sometimes. Like, I'll go out. We went out this weekend. It was fun. But um, the next day, wake up, drink some electrolytes, back to work. Today, back to work, getting up early, no drinking for the rest of the week or whatever, how long. <laughs> and just stop wasting your potential, guys. And so that brings us to the next topic. I know this, there's really no structure to these guys. So the podcast, like if you guys have questions, obviously answer it. I mean, I'll answer those. Um, this is a cool topic that happened the other day. So Jonah, one of my workers, like his car broke down. The radiator fucking blew up. And it was like 4 o'clock. He called this mobile mechanic at 4 o'clock. They were there by 5 and they had the car fixed by 7. It was 850 bucks, Not cheap. But think about that. Like they came to us. The convenience, just people will pay for convenience. So when, when people tell me that like they don't know how to make money or they can't make money, I'm just like, make someone else's life easier or better. That's it. Like we clean gutters, roofs, whatever. We'll clean it because we know how to do it. We are a lot faster at it. You think rich people are out going to go out on their roof, clean their gutters or do all this stuff. Like, fuck no. They, they know if they pay us 300 or 500 bucks or whatever, that we'll take care of it for them. They don't have to worry about a single thing. And that's the same thing with like the car. It's like we could have taken it to maybe a shop, maybe gotten it like a hundred bucks cheaper, but like that's going to take us hours extra of our time just to save a hundred bucks. Like people like legit blow my mind. And I know I made a reel about this the other day, but like I was looking about buying a, a little upgrade from a website. It was like 60 bucks. And I was like, ah, I don't want to buy it. It's like, it's expensive, but it was a whole year subscription to improve my website. But that same, like the same night before that, we went out with my parents and it was like, oh, should we buy this extra bottle of wine? Boom, yeah, we bought the bottle of wine. It was 60 bucks for another bottle of wine. Don't even think twice about it, but spending $60 to improve my website, which is gonna make me thousands more dollars. Like even if just one single good job comes through, that's $1,000. It's just like, we have this thing where we're just pound, penny wise, pound foolish. That's the quote from Benjamin Franklin. And we just think about the small things like, oh, how can I save? little things here, but then we lose the big picture. So that is pretty much today's rant and ramble. I know I had some other topics that I forgot to mention, but we'll do that later this week or next week. Kind of just keeping no real, no schedule. It's kind of whenever I just want to rant about something. So get after it, guys. There is no reason to be broke in America. I've said it many times and I'm going to say it probably every single time you watch one of these videos. There's so much money out there. If you are not making money, like, or what Adam always says, you can be broke, but you can't be lazy. So you got to pick one. You can't be both. You can't be broke and lazy. So get after it. Make some money. Let's go, guys. Peace. Thanks for tuning in to the Spencer Clay Show. That's all for now. See you in the next episode. Peace.